and make a good line. Racing this tie on Madonna Falls jumped up at the lids when they let them go and beginning fast out wide was Great I Am and going through on the inside was Have a Beer for Ted. They're going to share the lead early. Millvale's going through on the inside. It'll settle third just behind the leaders. Uh, the next one was Valiant Knight who settles about fourth spot now. Then came as they go down the back down the side was uh, Scarlet Desires. The race is caught wide. The inside spotted Wonder. About a length and a half away to out back step and Madonna Falls after a bad start as relegated to the tail of the field. Up to the 400 metre mark they go and have a beer for Teddy in front. Millvale the favourites right on its hammer of the inside. Uh, tracking the outside was Valiant. Uh, Valiant Knight the outside then. Great I am Zorosa the wider runner. Coming into the straight is still have a beer for Teddy in front. Trying to get it was Valiant Knight. Millvale the inside's pounding away. But it's still have a beer for Teddy in front. Valiant Knight trying to get it. Valiant Knight have a beer for Ted. Valiant Knight poked his head in front in one. Valiant Knight first, second will be have a beer for Ted, then Millvale. Followed next book by uh, Great I Am. Uh, Madonna Falls recovered to finish midfield from Spotted Wonder. The next few in would have been, uh, uh, would have been, uh, who was that back in the field? Was Scarlet Desire, who was about second last with, with Zarosa. Valiant Knight, the winner. Number five, Valiant Knight for Jason Hoopert. Race to race double. And he'd been back a week for a, while, a uh, long spell on the injury list, Jason Hooper. It was his first win back in race one, and that makes it uh, two from two here at Home Hill for Jason Hooper and Valiant Knight, proving too good in the run to the line to score. <laughs> Number five. Six will get second, have a beer for Ted, who fought on valiantly, and third. Three, the favourite Mill Vale, anchored by the weight, couldn't catch those leaders. Five, six, and three. Five, six, and three, the numbers after race two. And the winner, Valiant Knight, for Jason Hooper and Sean Roars. Roars, well, they teamed up in the previous, so they've uh, gone back to back races as trainer Sean Roars and uh, jockey Jason Hooper. Five, six, and three. And we'll wait for further numbers and margins, but the winner was too good. Valiant Knight, Jason Hooper. Number nine, yeah. it scratched. Oh. Yeah. When did that scratch? Oh, oh about nine o'clock this morning. Right, that, that helps me. 6-3-1-2, hang on. 5-6-3? Yeah. 5-6-3-1-2. Yep. Long head by one, by half a head, in 57 86. And here's the winner. Here's the winner coming back into the enclosure after race two, number five. Valiant Knight, ridden by Jason Hoover, trained by Shane Royce. Going back to back. And uh, Valiant Knight of Bay Gelding Fire by uh, Knight Exemplar out of Vogue Beauty, owned by SP Royce and Miss Miss C. Russo. Sean Royce, the trainer of Richmond, Jason Hooper, the rider. Second. Number six, have a beer for Ted. Written by Keith Ballard for Tanya Parry. And third will be number three, Millvale, Jason Babarovich for Stephen Royce. Five, six, and three. A long head by one, 57.36. The time stand by for correct weight or otherwise.